Hello, my name is Jamie Chernoff. I'm an instructor in Healthy Bones and Balance for the Amher Senior Center. We are on Zoom right now, Monday and Wednesday mornings with my colleague, Bessie Howlett, 10 a.m. You can contact the Senior Center for information about that. Now, following this, you can try out a class of your own. You can use small weights if you're used to using hand weights. Otherwise, just make a fist, use your own resistance, and go slowly while you listen and follow along. It's safe, faithful exercise will build strong bones and um, make you a happier person. Please enjoy. Okay, good morning, everybody. Sunny Monday. So let's get started. You can be seated or standing. I think I'm gonna stand first, do a little toe tapping. Warming up the body, maybe, um, yeah, seated or standing, toe, 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 toe. And now we'll do one side to go all the way around, like from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Tap, 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 home. Tap, same side, tap, tap, home, switch, tap, tap. Let's add some hands. We'll do two on each leg and do whatever feels like good with the hands. Um, okay, now let's switch legs. Now switch the toe to the heel. You might lean back a little bit, bend the standing leg. Elbows up, forward, tap, heel, 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 and back toe, forward, heel, back toe, forward, back, forward, back, forward, forward, back, and switch, forward with the left heel, back toe, right toe, front heel, left heel, front toe and just work it into a march. And a roll up on the foot. So right now we're getting, getting the heart rate going a little bit and getting the feet, the legs, knees warmed up. We're doing this in the chair. It's pretty much the same thing. And also, so come to a still and we'll warm up the spine with a cat cow. So seated or standing, standing or bending the knees and inhaling, lift the sit bones up, takes the shoulders back and look up. And then exhale, reverse it. Take the belly in, curving. Rounding the back. One of the few times you round the back. And up with your breath at your own pace. Inhale. And of course, the chair. Now that you've done a few. Try to go a little deeper, maybe a little slower, and just visualize the vertebrae opening on the inside as we and opening on the back side as you curl over. Stretching the connecting tissue, the muscles, exercising the discs. Whew. And pause, hands up in cactus position, and lift the armpits up a bit without lifting the, sh the tops of the shoulders. Just try that a little bit. It's activating a muscle we don't pay much attention to. So activating, so you're kind of longer from the armpit to the hip, and then take the sh heads of the shoulders back and now the shoulder blades are moving together and take the elbows back. 
to accentuate that. Breathe into the stretch and release. Once again, elbows, uh, armpits up, heads of the shoulders back, and bent elbows move back, stretching the back in another direction, stretching the upper back, working the upper back. Just feel like a trench between a little canyon between your shoulder blades and release. And now shoulder releasing forward and back down, forward and down with your breath. Inhale, exhale, and inhale in reverse direction. And uh, stand near your chair for a side stretch. So reaching up with my left hand and <laughs> up, up, up. Just feeling the length from this, my left foot to the tips of my fingers and then bending my knees slightly so I'm not locking them. Take, uh, just maximize that stretch. You may be going up more, you may curve over. Only you are looking at you. And breathe into that vast opening in the whole left side of the chest and hip and inhale back up. And next other side. Got a nice light chair, but and maximize the legs first. See how much more there was? I was here and then right there without only lengthening. I'm taking that armpit again away from the hip. The hip and the right foot are pressing down and the armpits reaching up and the hands and over. Go slowly so that you feel that stretch really from the middle of the side of the hip. Soften the knees. And breathe into all those new spaces. And shoulders up, squeeze, 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 and release. Squeeze, 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 and release. And now let's do a sort of a work, well, it's another warm up. I'm lifting the right knee and pulling down with the left arm. But it's also warming up our hip flexors right here at the top of our thigh. These strong cords pull, 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 pull. Now we'll do a variation pull and now kick. Pull, kick. Right lifts, left kicks. Right, left, right, left. Right, I'm getting a jab in there with my kick. <laughs> and we'll switch, pause, and so lift to the left and kick right. The flex foot. Jab is quick. I think I switched sides <laughs> and that's it. Let's pick up our weights for arm exercise, um, overhead press. So we recommend being seated for this one because it, as your, it could be more than your back wants uh, to take on. So I've got the weights at my shoulders, um, palms facing forward. Inhale and press up. Look up so you just you see that they're overhead but not moving back. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale, 
four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale. Take the belly to the spine as you go up, nine, or eight, nine, slowly to 10, and slowly down, slow to 11, slow it up, down, and slow to 12, down, 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 finish. And rest your weights, I feel secure there. And a little shoulder circles. And forward and back. Take up the weights again for our second set. I'm still wrestling with this little one pattern. <laughs> up my weights. Hmm. Big inhale and reach. Uno. Exhale for dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Let's slow it down a little bit. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Once. And doce. And now come down really slow. You're tired, tired. And that's done. So weights down. And if you tap those shoulders and upper arms. Those of you who are wearing leg weights, this is the time to put them on. Those of you who are not using leg weights can think about putting on your virtual leg weights. And in the next uh, exercise of our knee extension, you can. Uh, Create your own resistance by imagining that you've got huge weight tied to your ankles. Or a significant weight. <laughs> and or you might, if you don't have weights, you might move your position on your seat a little more forward because that also is your have more of the leg that you're holding up without the chair so that's another way to add a little strength add a little more effort required uh, more muscle effort more strength more pull on the bones inhale and uh, the balls or this or and then keep your hands productively busy. Inhale, right leg extend, point flex, and return. Reach for the heel, point flex, return. Three, point flex, return. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Point flex, slow return. Whew. Now I'm going to put my balls down. I mentioned this last week. So as we get tired, it's natural for us to round our back to balance uh, the upper leg going up. But we want to resist that. It's okay if we lift our leg, uh, if we lift it, we don't lift it as far. We're maintaining this. So I'm going to keep my 
thumbs pressing against my upper sacrum and my lower arms touching the chair. So I have that distance. I can, will be able to detect with my thumbs if my pelvis starts to tilt. Sec second set, right side. Inhale and circle, reach and circle. Two, circle. Three, four, five, six, seven. Reach for the heel and circle for eight, nine, ten. Reach. Try not to take any shortcuts, just lower the leg. Of it gets to be too much. I think there's one more. <laughs> and there's, I mean, there's the option to slide out on the floor of the heel and lift at the end. You know, if you've been away from exercise for a while or you have reasons not to feel your full strength, um, Modify. Let's take the hands up. Inhale. A little more power and energy for the second set. And left leg. Point and flex. Reach. Point. Flex. Return. Reach with the heel. Point. Flex. Return. Reach. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And pause. This is one of our most uh, strenuous exercises, I would say. Um, although we probably each have our favorites and our least favorites. But uh, second set. Uh, circle the ankle. Inhale. Extend the. Uh, the, the toi. Extend. Katza, extend, sink, extend, circle the ankle, cease, set, wheat, nerf, deez, arms, and doos, knees wide, Come down, rest on the forearms, straight back, and let your hands, if, you, if this feels good, slide down the shins to the ankles. Press the elbows against the, the knees or the thighs, and resist and stretch along from the sit bones to the crown of the head. That resistance action with your knees against your elbows allows even more forward uh, movement of the hips. So back to our hand weights for bicep curls. Some people may use balls to hold in their hand for the weights. Uh, I think I'll stand up after that leg work. But it's the same exercise, seated or standing. And weights in my hand and arms long. Just feel the pull of the weights. A little stretch in the top of the shoulders. Soften the knees if you're standing. That means just a micro bend so you're not have a hard lock of the knees. Belly to the spine, lift the chest, 
Inhale and exhale, lower arms move up. Upper arms stay where they are for one, two, slow return, and three. Inhale down, exhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, Nine, inhale, 10, slow down, 11, inhale, and 12, slow, 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 all the way down. If you want, you put down your weights for a moment, really a moment, half, half minute max. Second set because we our goal is actually to tire our muscles. That's when they start to get stronger. <laughs> Feel the weight, let it pull down on the top of the shoulders. Rotate the arms, hands, and return. Palms facing forward and uno, due, inhale, tre, inhale, cuatro, inhale, cinque, sei, Sete. Ocho. Nove. Dieci. Undici. Dodici. And weights down. I'll go on to side leg raise in a moment. Shaking hands, roly poly. This is in a very loose interlace of the fingers, stretching them out. Feels good after weight holding and then together and change the interlace and take it all the way up hold your ribs down firm your whole front of your abdomen and reach regain that length between the hips and the armpits that you had in this side stretch and let them fall Gradually. All right, leg, side leg raise. Inhale, lift the right leg, turn the toe in, notably in, and lift. You see it straightens out. This is the angle of the leg. Two, inhale, squeeze. Three, press against the weight you're trying to lift, and then here, hug a big exercise ball until the air comes out. Four, that was four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. <laughs> Let's 
can be fun to play with balance. You got something to um, catch on to or bend the knees, do a little hula hoop for the hips. And second set, right leg again, same lift, turn it in. And uh, veal, kriya, tessera, pende, exi, et ta, slow return, okto, enea, Veka and the car and Lodeka. That means Greek. Uh, Polikala means very good, very good. Good job. And switch sides. My chair is heavier. I got my weight on this. <laughs> um, so we go slow, not because we are fragile, but because we're strong and getting stronger. It would be really easy to swing this out, even with the weight, swing, swing back, use that momentum and the gravity and so forth. We're working against gravity to build our strength. Inhale, same thing, the left leg lift, turn it, bit pigeon toed and reach, completes one, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze that big balloon, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Bend one knee and the other. That pulls at the hip nicely. Second set. months of the year. Inhale, and I hope you're, you know, shouting it out, yelling it out, speaking it out in your rooms, wherever you are. Inhale, January, squeeze it back. February, March. March. Okay, keep going. April, And May, June, July, August, September, October, November, slow, slow, slow for December, and squeeze back. Woo, this feels good. Against the chair, just really stretch the muscles there. And then again, the one and then the other. Bend one as far as you can. And then if it turns you to the side. And let's pick up one weight for tricep stretch. Back to the upper arm. So if you're seated, you just make room for your arm at the chair. And if you're standing, this is the right foot to do the right side, the right foot ahead of you, and then that front knee. Weights at the hip. Roll the right shoulder back, shoulder blade moves to the spine, belly firms, and Lift 
for one. So again, lower arm moves from the elbow. Two, keep that elbow as high as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Hmm. I'm sympathetic. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's work. I'm getting warm. Second set. Bend that front knee. Belly in. It's going to hold, hold your whole torso firm and share the work. Same action. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Once. And doce. You <laughs> can see me wilting. But that's all right. I'm making the effort to get where I can. That's it. I'm getting to work wherever you go there. So we're going to have a second side. So, <laughs> so now I'm a left. <laughs> Inhale. Roll that shoulder blade onto your back. It's a sturdy, integrated place to keep the shoulder safe. All the action we want in the upper, back of the upper arm. Two, inhale. Three, inhale. Four, inhale. Five, inhale. Six, inhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, inhale, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, here you go. Crawling shoulders forward, back, forward, back. Second set, en français. Un. Two, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze. And return. Ooh, okay. So you might say, what if I can't, I can't uh, finish? If I'm just too tired to put down the weight, that's one obvious thing. And, or don't uh, have your elbow as high. The higher your elbow up, the more you can see the radius of the lower arms further. And so, the best thing is to keep moving. Just do it with no weights and you can only get value out of it if you're doing it at the place where you're, uh, you can keep going. So we move up a notch and down a notch. Now I'm in place for the back leg raise. Stand against the chair or wall, right leg, Goes back, squeezes at the glute, that's key, and return. Two, inhale. It's a slow movement though, it's not a kick. You're here and then you lift a little bit for the squeeze. Four, five, six, 
five, six, the slight bend of the standing leg, seven, chest up, eight, nine, squeeze that glute, 10, 11, and 12. Hold, squeeze, slow return. Bend the knees, bend over, lift, bend the knees up, second set, uno, due, tre, exi, no, <laughs> cuatro, bend, <laughs> Uh, Cinque, that's my favorite. Say, sete, ocho, <laughs> nove, dieci, undici, dodici. Hold, squeeze, squeeze, and down. Let's bend. Let the sit bones up, straight back. You might put your hands over the chair or stay here and bend the knees slightly and feel a delicious stretch back of the legs and those big muscles of the gluteus maximus left side inhale and just pause here for a moment this might be as far as you go if you're new to class and or new to weights let's say you're wearing weights for the first time just go right here and then just with your own muscle power squeeze that left glute and return two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Hold, hold, and return. Bend both knees, roll up on the balls of the feet, and sink down again, up, and back on the heels with a straight, staying straight, legs and torso. Second set. Anna. Vio. Tria. Tessa. Pende. Exi. Epta. Octo. Enea, Deca, Endica, Dodeca. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and return. Woo! Smoke. Those glutes are smoking. Bend the knees and you can go down further if you want. Almost a downward dog feels good. Bend the knees, press, and come up. And there's always more. So let's do a stand up, sit down. Woo. So we, oh, time for 30 seconds, and we. Each keep track of our own time. And you want to, you know, t really touch the chair each time you come down. Um, <clears throat> so, inhale, ready, and begin.
Halfway, more than halfway, keep going. And done. Woo. Time for our we must stay at the beach. Stretching out at your heels. Toes up. And so this is not a stretch, this is a rest. A short one. <laughs> Bring in the feet, come back, and we will come to standing for squats behind the chair or at the wall. And here, what we want is the knees pointing towards the toes and the knees not uh, past the ankle. So vertically, knee over ankle, and directionally, and come down. You can raise your hands, perhaps, or, and stand, straighten, and bend. Straighten, and bend. Chair, close the same, but you're leaning forward. Maybe stay down, hands to the thighs, or just by the knees. Press down, belly in towards the spine, lengthen the spine long, shoulder blades move together, and then squeeze the legs together as you come up. And we will do the seated row. Yeah, we have time, so this will be our last arm exercise. I have all my choices over here to choose from, depending on our time. Uh, so, seated row involves uh, weights at the hips and hinge forward, straight back, hinging up right at that hip crease, hinge forward. Neck long and extend the arms, hands to the calf, and then lift the elbows up for one. Extend, two. Extend, three. Extend, four. Elbows up for five. Six, seven, eight. Really take the belly to the spine as you say nine as you reach the top. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Rest your arms, your weights. Take right ear to right shoulder. Let that gravity work to open the left side and inhale up and left ear to left shoulder, moving slowly. Giving the right side of your neck permission to, to release. And inhale. Second set, starting here. 12. 11, inhale. 10, inhale. 9. Take the belly to the spine as you go up. 7. Six, five, four, 
three, two, one. That's our last handbrake for the day. Place them down, out of your way, and hand curls. We'll do one set of hand curls. So we need to be standing and bend at the knee and bring the foot, the lower leg parallel to the floor, thighs stay even. As soon as I put my hands right here, just to see where, feel where my thighs are. And two, on the right side, three, inhale, four, Inhale, adding your resistance is essential. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm just balancing out kind of like bicep moves for twelve. Switch it to the other side. Twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, stand tall, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done with leg weights. And standing at the chair, let's come up on the balls of the feet and down, up and down, up, and then go slowly down to so really feel it in your feet. And again, slowly up and hold. Four, three, two, one, hold. Isometrically pull the legs together, press down with the big toe now, lift up with the chest. Belly to the spine, and if you're not already down, come down. <laughs> up, two, three, four. Extend your length, and down, two, three, four. And then just one or the other. And hands behind, interlaced, or on your hips. Bring the elbows towards each other, and if their hands are like this, you can reach them away. Bend the knees. Let the sternum come forward and lift as the shoulder blades come together and they lift up. Take your ears up and back, or back, bend up, so your chin's not jutting out. And release. Shoulders up and melt down, soft melt. Takes a long time, full release. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> and we'll have a balance practice. Standing on one leg. Choose your leg, lift up, plant it at the shin, and as you do that, extend up with the standing leg, and the standing hip hugs in. As both feet are active, pressing against each other, or the toes could be touching the floor, and begin. Belly to the spine, chest lifts. You can hold on to imaginary balance feet, balance, um, you know, tightrope pole. See if I look at my watch, I lose it. And down. <sighs> Deep, slow inhale and exhale. The next inhale, lift the other leg. And as you're practicing with us, 
You might lose your balance and find it a couple of times during this minute starting now, not a minute, 30 seconds. You can do for longer. Press the standing hip in, being as vertical as you can to counteract the moving this way. Very good, very good. We had a powerhouse here. I'm doing a big hip circle, bending my knees as the hips go back, stretching the front as they come forward and reverse. And uh, you can see the quad stretch. Stretching the big front of our thighs. It's beautiful in the chair. If you, if you, if you like to stand, you can, you, you can do that. Curl the back toes under and reach with the knee. So it's both legs are actively pressing down. And I'm adding to the stretch that I'm getting by leaning back. But got to keep up that active pressure into the floor, active reaching with the knee. Maybe one hand reaches back. We could keep a hand on the chair back. And inhale up. And switch sides. This. Um, Thigh in front should be perpendicular to the floor. So you've got two 90 degree angles in, each, in the knees and begin to go back. But don't lean back until you're really firmly reaching to that floor, not getting there, but activating the muscles to reach the back knee to the floor, pressing and Maybe let's see, this extends a little more weight. Maybe it's not too much. And inhale up, tricep steps, reach right arm long, bend the elbow, and press that elbow back a bit. So your right hand reaching down and take the lower ribs down so you're firm in the front the abdomen feet pressing into the floor so you can really isolate the stretch reach out both hands left arm bends press back press down with the feet in with the belly lower front ribs Reach down towards the navel. Let your neck be free. You can be wide in your arms to not feel constricted. Mm. Inhale up and float down. Little shoulder stretch and that right arm across. Another shoulder stretch and feel when the stretch starts to get intense. And before you back off, just breathe into it. Use your powers of visualization to imagine your breath filling up the space, massaging the stretched muscles, and then certainly back off whenever. The first strategies don't work and release and left arm across hug make the two arms press against each other really actively
and let's stand for a couple of the leg stretches. Let's do a calf stretch. Um, so I'm facing my chair with the bent knee and I have the back foot on the floor and I'm bending the back knee. And the more I bend it, the uh, more stretch I'm getting. Actually, it's the lower part of my calf, back and ankle. So we're going to straighten the legs. And I'm, the hips are facing the chair back. And I'm coming down in a kind of split leg down dog position. I'm going to rest my hands on the chair seat, or you can hold on to the side. And try to get that back leg further back on the floor and bend it a little bit. So right now I'm getting a hamstring stretch in my front leg, my left leg, which feels good. And the back leg, I'm trying to isolate that calf muscle. Only partially successful, but it's good hamstring. And bend the front knee and come up and switch legs. And lift the hips up so that the legs are long, straight, and then hinge forward, flat back. And breathe into those openings. And inhale up. And let's just go right here, just bending legs together, bending the knees. Cap stretch right here. And we'll do a few lunges, final lunges. This practice or balance practice. If you were thrown off balance to the right, you'd step out and back. And left, back. We'll just alternate there for a minute, right? Left, one more to each side. Really put your weight into that forward foot. And then forward. Front knee bends. And back. That's a nice squeeze of the glute as you try to stop yourself. That's what we're doing all that glute work for. Um, so another last balance feet together it's called mountain sway and maybe it's just on the side we're going to try to go as far forward as you can really working the toes <laughs> and then come back to center and now go to the right you don't move very much but you could feel how your whole body comes into here belly glutes trying to hold on and then back the toes get light. You don't want them to be too light. <laughs> and bend the knees. And let's have a good downward dog. Back out. Can't even sit to the screen here. Because um, I want to uh, show you how you can get such, getting great back leg stretch, torso stretch, armpits, and arms. Pressing into the floor, lifting the sit bones, reaching with active fingers, jazz hands, and bend the knees, come forward. We still have a little walking balance. So if you have a circle or you can just go back and forth, everybody has different kinds of space limitations. But the idea is to put one foot right in front of the other, heel and toe are touching, and then next step is like that too, but they're slow. If some of you are meditators, you might have done this called a walking meditation where you're visualizing the heel, touching the arch, sides of the arch, and then the ball of the foot, and then the toes, and then you're on to the next. The slower it is, this is what makes it a, also a balancing exercise. 
Try to lift your eyes up and just have your mind attention in the feet, but your gaze is looking straight ahead. And come back to center, standing or seated. Bend the knees, open up the palms, reach up. Just take in the whole of this energetic hour. Hands down again, we'll do this two more times. Inhale, up. Embrace the sun and be grateful for your commitment to being stronger, being more of who you want to be. Thanks for practicing with me.